lady going around from the Stone Newton Festival, which is run for free by people who really are crazy. Please put some money in that bucket. Yeah, I think it's a nice demonstration of sort of people's ability to be together and enjoy each other. And it's in contradiction to what's going on in the uh, media world where we don't and can't coexist. So in that respect, it's very inspiring, I think. Any gathering of people is, isn't it? I have to just say I preferred it when it was in the street and I think it's a real shame that it's not in Church Street anymore. I think this is great and I agree. I think it's, it's really good to see all the people together sort of mixing together and enjoying themselves and it, you know, we need more things like this really. Stoke, Newington and Hackney have got a fabulously diverse cultural mix. Its history goes back about 10 years and, and the initial ones were very much people just deciding, yeah, let's do something, let's pose the street and have a party and then organising it and that's what happened. I think what, what the Stokely Festival has always done is give a stage to you know, local bands. Rather than sort of bringing in named people who then just go away and leave no sense of cultural identity. <laughs> Rural festivals tend to attract a type. You know, people have to want to make the effort. And the beautiful thing about urban festivals is that it attracts anyone who happens to be going by. You actually learn to sit on a lump of ground with people who live you know, on the next block who, generally speaking, you just walk by. You see what food they're eating, you share a bit of food, and you see what sort of things they're laughing at and you share laughter. <laughs> 